Jachi Kwesen's lawyers before a five-member Supreme Court presided over by Chief Justice Gertrude Tokono contended that the judge erred on grounds that his initial application at the High Court was not heard. He further argued that the judge took the decision by relying on a document produced by the Attorney General which was not deposed to by an affidavit. The said document was a reply from the Attorney General indicating that his office has no further disclosures to make. Justin Tariwaja, who represented Judge Kwesin, was of the view that the High Court ought not to have relied on this document because it was not deposed to in an affidavit. Attorney General Godfrey Yabuadami, however, opposed the certiorari application, describing it as incomplete. It was his view that while the application is by Judge Kwesin, the deposition in support was by the lawyer without any proof of authority. This, in his view, was against the rules of court and makes the application incomplete. He also debunked claims that Judge Kwesin's lawyers were not allowed to move the application. He made reference to excerpts of arguments at the High Court by both his deputy and lawyers of Judge Kwesin to buttress this point. The court, after considering the arguments, dismissed the application as without merit. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court has raised concerns about the continuous absence of James Judge Kwesin at the Apex Court when he files applications. At the start of proceedings, the court observed that Judge Kwesin was absent. Chief Justice Gertrude Tokonu then noted that she has observed a pattern where the Assent not MP files an application and does not appear on the date of hearing the application. She then questioned the lawyer, Justin Tariwaja, on the whereabouts of his client. Mr. Tariwaja, who could not provide any answer, then apologized. A member of the bench, Justice Amadou Tanko, then noted that this situation is attributed to the practice where counsel for Judge Kwesin deposes to the affidavit in support of the application on behalf of his client. He used the opportunity to caution lawyers that this practice may land them in trouble. Lawyer of Judge Kwesin promised to advise his client accordingly. At the High Court, the letter of the Chief Justice on whether the case involving minority leader should be transferred from the Court of Justice Efia Sewa Saribuche was received. The Chief Justice in the letter refused a request by the third accused person in the trial, Richard Jakba. The request to the Chief Justice followed an event that ensued between the trial judge and the accused person, Richard Jakba. Richard Jakba, who is a businessman, made an outburst in court after he was nearly denied from using the washroom. The judge, who found the outburst unacceptable, cautioned the accused and directed him not to repeat such an act, as that could lead him being held in contempt. Dissatisfied with the encounter, Mr. Jakba applied to the Chief Justice to administratively reassign the case. But in a letter read in court on Thursday from the Chief Justice, her leadership, Justice Gertrude Tokonu, refused the request.